Hey guys, in this episode, I'm gonna fix my trailer lights. And uh, to show you guys what's been going on, I just cleaned out the boat today. It is all gutted from uh, last episode, and I just kind of cleaned it up and took some silicone off. But, uh, yep, so the trailer came with a five plug, five way, right here. And uh, I have a four way on mine, my truck. So we're gonna change the five way to four way. And then we're gonna change the two back uh, lights and uh, see if everything works. Let's go. Okay. So I was looking here, guys. And uh, so this one here has the white goes here and the um, two browns, that's your uh, two browns go to this one, yellow, green, then the blue, and I was following the blue, and it comes to an end. So that must have been like for your trailer light, uh, trailer brakes or something. I don't know. Somebody must have had something on this. But uh, I looked at this one, my four-way, and it only has these ones here. So that's gonna make life a lot easier. So all we're doing is pretty much getting rid of this piece right here. That's that's it right there so um yeah you probably you probably could just like leave it but um we're going i'm going to uh put put it on because i already have one and um why not kind of have it not perfect but have it a little bit nicer so that's what we'll do so what we're gonna do is I have a wire cur uh, cutters and then I have a little, this one's wire cutters too, but it's like the crap so you can buy it, but I use it just to crimp. And then uh, bought a bunch of these at like Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever. Um, you probably should use better ones, but I just use these and uh, electric tape the crap out of them. For the tail lights, I usually use um, heat shrink. But uh, I kind of forgot to buy some of that, so we're gonna just tape the crap of that too. So what I like to do to kind of find um, the lengthwise, is I take it and I kind of hold it up up here to where it's gonna be. You want a little bit of slack for like when you turn or when you're gonna jackknife the trailer, but you don't want a lot because right now it's it's quite a bit on it. So we're gonna cut it. Um, That would probably be good right there. We yeah, can go. We'll go a little more. We'll go a little extra. So we're gonna go right here. So this is where we're gonna. We want the end at. So I'm gonna take the end. Do that, and you always want to leave yourself a little extra. So I'll cut. I will cut it. I think we'll cut it right there. And then you misplace all your tools. There we go. So, now we got them all I'll cut. What I do is, because these are um, stranded, I twist them. So yeah, nice even, even points. Not like frayed out like this one here. See how that one's all frayed? It's nice. Together, just twist them up, and then uh, th then I grab some some of these bad boys. These couplings, crimps, or whatever you want to call them. Wire connectors. Here we go. And then you grab some wire connectors. Stick in your mouth because it's good luck. Stick it in. See, I have a little extra there. So I'm going to cut it off a little bit.
So that, that's pretty good. Take snippers. Not nice, snippers, your crimpers. Crimp it. I only do one crimp right now, and then when I have the other one in, I'll crimp the whole thing. So we'll do that with all of them. Except for the brown ones. The brown ones, we're going to do something a little different. So now we got them all, except for the brown. Done. So what I do with the brown is because there's only one brown on the four-way, we're going to connect these ones. There might be a better way to do this, but this is how I've always done it. Stick them together really tight and wind them up. And I stick it right in. Sometimes you have to use a bigger connector here. Like, I guess I have, I have one, <laughs> one more, and I had a bunch of like 10 and 12 gauge, but those are like a little bit too big, but yep, grab like that, crimp that one, say so that, and then you do the same thing over here. Now we got all these done. I'm gonna twist them up. And then I'm gonna crimp them. So we can start with, I don't know if it really matters what side you start with, but start with white. So now that I have both sides connected, I just pull on them. They're good. Cause sometimes I've pulled on them, they pull right out. So once they're, they're good, then I crimp whole thing say that and we're gonna do that with all of them here and all the rest of them what I like to do is I like to start this one with like the white brown yellow green or vice versa green yellow brown white I like to go this way or that way so that my wire just kind of stay a little bit nicer Okay, now we got them on. So what I do is I've done this before. So what I, sometimes I do is I'll tape it, tape it up, stick it on, and uh, find out my trail lights don't work. So I'll have to find out what the problem is. So I try, I leave these all exposed until all the trailer lights work. And I know that there is no faults right here. And then I can be assured, <laughs> like assured that it's, it's all good. So that's what we're gonna do. Now we're gonna go in the back and uh, put the trail lights on. So now here we are at the back and uh, this guy's got it zip tied on, huh? Look at all the zip ties. Got some, he got some nuts on there too. What we'll do is we'll cut these off, get the nice and split holder off, get these nuts off somehow. They'll turn or if you have to grind them off and then we'll start cutting wires. So most of the time, there's extra wire inside the trailer. So what I'd, I'm gonna do, because you really want to keep your like your crimps to a minimum. Um, I'm gonna cut all my wires right here. I'm gonna re-crimp it so there's only one. These ones here seem not the nicest. They make really nice ones where you can like um, like with heat shrink on the sides. So usually on the back here, you want to make sure that this is really good connector and connection and um no water is going to get in there so you like want to heat shrink it so i what i do what i did with my other trailer is i heat shrinked it and then i taped it to double protection but this one we're gonna be a little lazy and not do that so this one here has a ground on it so um not quite sure what that's gonna mean we're gonna see if it works without hooking the ground up first and then uh, if it doesn't, 
we'll have to figure it out. We'll have to run another wire or uh, grind a little spot off and put the ground on the trailer. I use these instead of the instead of these here, these connectors, because these are permanent. <laughs> Those aren't the wire nuts. Just take them right off. And this is just a test. So I'm gonna go up to the truck, plug the trailer lights in and see if these work. And it doesn't work. So, let's see here. Yep, so it needs a ground. Look at that. Yeah, there we go. So it needs the ground. Yep. So that's how we're gonna do it then. So what we'll do is uh, when you're doing this, my truck's off. So make sure you turn the the lights off. Um, my I have a my bat is like seven years old too, so it dies pretty quick. Here, shut that off. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh. See here. Hey, hey, that's too big. So, another thing I should go by is uh, so this right here works perfect. It's right on. But this is for 12 to 10 gauge wire. So. We'll see if we can uh, jimmy ring it here. I'm going to take this and just go back on self. Make it a little bit bigger. Like that. Now the test. You always want to make sure to pull on it a little bit. Make sure it's actually on there. And she is. Good, now we're gonna tape it up. But next time I go to uh, Lowe's, <clears throat> I'll go buy some smaller ones because that's probably gonna, probably gonna fail on me sometime. So we got that. See it? Now it's to the other side. We go all of our stuff. And it's move. So this one here. <coughs> this wire goes to the three clearance lights in the middle of the trailer here. Well, in the middle back, right underneath the boat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut it right here and leave this here because I don't really feel like splicing this right now. That's what we'll do. Even though I said you should leave your uh, connectors to a minimum. And then it's just like repeat. <laughs> Repeat the process. So this one though, because I know it needs a ground, I'm not going to use uh, these wire crimps. These ones. Because I already know it needs a ground, so we're just gonna connect them up. And I'm not sure why, but the trailer wire gets pretty, the wire gets really dirty. It's probably because of the water and stuff, but I really don't know. I'd assume the wire. My common sense says the wire, the water. There we go. 
Let's see if they work. Yeah. Man, guys, that was easy. <laughs> I'm glad though they worked. They worked. Like, it was the easy install, easy fix. Um, sometimes what can happen is on my other trailer, I had this happen to me like a month and a half ago. The wire was bad, like right here. And uh, right there, you can't really do too much. So you pretty much have to rewire that side of the trailer. So I'm happy that, uh, happy and glad that was just, just the lights and the, the connector. And yeah, so now I'm just going to uh, go around and um, tape it all up. And I'll show you guys. So I have this little box here of uh, just electrical stuff. I got those ones. I just got some crimps, whatever. Three ways, some fuses. This guy, just in case something happens or whatever. Just some random stuff. And, uh, oh, got this too, got a on and off switch. I would uh, really re recommend uh, if you guys have like a bow fishing boat and you guys are always at night going out at night, just have like a little small electrical uh, box with you. And like when I'm on the road, I uh, carry an extra tail light with me just because I live in my truck and it's pretty easy. But when I lived at home, I never did that. I had a box of electrical gear, but never had an extra tail light. But um, yeah, I just recommend doing that because you never know, you can back into something and like tear a wire or a wire could corrode and break. So you just fix it quick there. And uh, yeah, I find like at nighttime, there's not too many cars, but sometimes you, the people are not too aware at night. I think they're, they're having a little too many drinks or something, I don't know. But, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comment section and I'll gladly let it, uh, gladly answer them. Thanks guys, see ya.